Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's up? Nah, nah, need no more there. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you have to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There, we don't only want your subscription. We do want that, but we don't only want that. We want your membership too. And how you do so is under each and every video, including this one down here, in our description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Click that, because I know y'all be seeing us on the street and be like, man, how can we support you? Buy our merch, do this, do that. This is how you can support us. Go ahead and buy our memberships. Thank you in advance. Man, hold up. I done up and done it. I'm back in L.A., man. It's going down, man. I got my partner here, and he ain't playing no games. I'm going to be real with you. I've been waiting for this interview. I left him last time. It was a year ago we did our last interview. Sure yeah. was. It's time. <laughs> He's here. Columbus Shorts in the building, man. Good, man. You know you my brother. I mean, for life. For life. And, they, and they don't even understand. It's real. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. no, I'm yeah. trying to get you to Dallas. I, I got to get wherever he at, I'm at. My buddy. <laughs> It was a commercial. My buddy, my, my buddy, buddy, my buddy and me. wherever I go, he goes. <laughs> How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm you looking good. Thank you, man. Just you know, out here uh, it was a little bit under the weather. You know, really? Like, yeah, that that kid, kids' colds is different. They hit you yeah. different. Wow. They hit you different than COVID. They hit you different. And we handle it worse than they, they do. They, and they be running around playing with it. Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. Like, we handle it way worse yeah, me than they me do. Me and my wife out last week, so I'm coming on the backside of it. Man. Um, uh, but it's good to see you, Miss Jamaica. All hey, right, ECO, yeah. Miss Jamaica in the building. Money yeah. Moses, he's out here with yeah, us. Money Moses over there. <laughs> Everybody got a brand new attitude, brand new bag. I see y'all done got the Adidas collab. <laughs> oh, man, we had to do it. We had to do it. Man, I got to, you know, I got to ask you, man. Like, I see you on the internet, man, and you you ain't playing no games, man. You always consistently... You learn, you know about content. You like I'm gonna keep this content yes, up here all the time. He does. And I hear, I see, you know, you pinned on my page, like, and he know how to tag. He be, he comes up in my DM all the time. Be, gotta be manual. You yeah. know, like yeah, yeah, how, yeah. how do you, what 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 keeps you going? What drives you? Well, I mean, well, you know, I, just a, a little quick little drop. I, I you know I have a sitcom coming out in June. Uh, with Bentley Kyle Evans, he executive produced Martin, and you know, wow. uh, created Jamie Foxx show. So I got my Jamie Foxx show. And we is this finished. your first sitcom? Because um, I don't since remember. Since Raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's my show. You oh, know, awesome! With amazing cast. Congrats! Yeah, thank you. And so when he finished up the show, he was like, you know, Marlon Wayans, all my comedian guys. I started in comedy. Um, people don't know that. <laughs> um, but um, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy story. So, but anyway, they were like, "Man, you got to get back on stage. Mm -hmm. you, we need to get your one man show ready." So I just was like, "Let me." They were like, "You know, Michael Coy at Columbus. I need you to just give me five minutes at a time. Let let me see what you got. So if you give me give me five minutes. I get you on stage. I get you on stage, man." And I was like, "Man, I'm not gonna look in the mirror and just do five minutes." I said, "Let me beta test." Um, on my platform and so what I was doing using current events um, telling Got stories it. telling the truth and seeing what was happening and huh. you know it just so happened when I was started my journey Diddy was hot in the street so I had to hit it <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that was. You know, I was really so I like, had to touch it. You messed me yes. up. Like I was like, he really did call him one night. Like I oh, didn't know was what true. was that was true. Absolutely true. You see, you know, a lot of I people. I thought that was a joke. Like an exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Man, man. No, so so when I did Stomp the Yard, it was number one two weekends in a row, and the second weekend. Uh, you know, it was I was like experiencing, you know, phone calls. You know, I'm, it's, you know, I'm getting movie offers, and right? All these things that's kind of happening. And one day, my phone call, I got a phone call, unknown number. I answered it, and it was Diddy. And I was like, fan, flamboyed out, like what? He was like, man, it was, I'm a big thing, man. You killed that movie, boo, boo, boo. Hey, I heard you coming to New York next week to do T, uh, 106th and Park. Hey, mm -hmm. pull up at the San George store. You can get whatever you want. Like, boom, you know, go out there, go up, and it'll look fresh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Diddy's looking out for me, man. I never met him when I got to New York. I just went to the San store, and they was like opened up the gates for me. Yeah, you know, I geared up, boom, boom, boom. Never met him when I was was there for those couple days. Then. That was January. February, 
because uh, Stomp came out January 17, 2007. So February was All-Star in Vegas mm -hmm. that year, 2007. Never forget it. So went to the All-Star game. It's crazy. And then my boys, my partners, they, they like, they rolled with Diddy Tough. Uh, they was like, you know, the band for Bad Boy for a long time. They're like, hey, man, Diddy said you can come to uh, the Palms. He's having an after party. You know, he had the big one with the pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in that one. Yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. in that one. So, you know, I went up there. It was packed. I mean, niggas was in the lobby for lines trying to get in. They was just security escorting me through. And Diddy was just, you know, uh, so this went on for about a year. Any parties he had. Like right. I was, you, you would know, go. I didn't know that there was other parties. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You weren't at them parties. I wasn't at those oh, parties. Okay. I was okay. at the, you know, the big party. The big. Mm -hmm. And then um, Diddy called me one day after I did Cadillac Records. He came to the premiere of Cadillac Records in New York, and he was like, "Man, you killed that." He said, "I'm up for this movie or this show." It was a movie, Raising in the Sun. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, "I need an acting coach, man." So I put him with my acting coach that okay. I had since I was a kid. Yeah, and he he might. My acting coach, big shout out, Josh Patton, um, wonderful, phenomenal um, acting coach. Um, and he started working with him. He, you know, he, then Diddy was on a series for a little bit, and then he was working. So I, we, he was always looking out. So I think it was just now, looking back, it's like the groomage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I was the BET Awards were happening in town. I didn't go because I wasn't nominated. So I'm like, I got it. Well, I'm not going. I'm not yes. nominated. You know right. what I mean? I'm just sitting my black behind at the <laughs> crib. So about two something thirty in the morning, two fifteen, two thirty in the morning. Phone rings. This is an unknown number. I don't answer unknown numbers. But you know, my wife looking at me like, Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who is that? Pick, yeah, pick that up. <laughs> oh, know about this? So I, I put it on speaker. Yeah, <laughs> I like, oh, picked it up. I, I, I say, Who is this? It's Sean. I'm like, Sean. It's Puff. I'm like, Oh, what's good? You're talking low like that. You're talking low. So I was, <laughs> so I was like, "Hey, what's good?" I said, "What's cracking?" He said, "Ah, we didn't see you. We didn't see you tonight at the BET Awards. We didn't see you tonight." He said, uh, "You're checking uh, in." He said, what, 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 you, "What you doing?" I was like, "Oh man, I'm at the crib." He said, "Oh yeah, we over here at the." Um, he said, "I'm over here at the um, the Beverly Hills Hotel." I said, "Oh, for real?" So who over there? Just me. Uh, what? Uh, Come on, man! That man ain't said you serious. He said, "Just me." So my wife. She, 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 I'm over here on the suspect list. What the hell? So I'm like, nah, man, I'm in bed, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm good. He's like, I, 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 and just hung up. But and then, did he so, ever give you sign? Nah, did you ever give him any sign, any nah, reason? No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing whatsoever. So, so I'm like, man, and I, but now I got smoke in my house. Mm, so my wife looking yeah. at me like, what's up? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know. This man just called me. Like, and I don't know. I don't know. What the, going on so uh anyway so you know people when i posted that on ig people was like i you know the comments was like but did you go you did leave it like in and i'm book. like oh i gotta respond to this but i was like the only way people really listen is if you said you know they listen to dave chappelle if dave chappelle say some shit they know it's back i was like hell no i didn't go it's crazy <laughs> it's ridiculous what i look like going to a grown man's hotel room in the middle of the night it's ridiculous. Anything's possible with this man. <laughs> like Kevin Garnett winning the NBA championships. Anything's possible. As I wasn't playing those ridiculous. games with P. Diddy that night. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, well, they could have changed everything. <laughs> Damn, man. So, so you were not surprised when all of this came out in the open at no, all? No, I wasn't because I have, you know, as I gotten further, deeper into the game, you know, people talk. So I would hear stories, but I never saw nothing. Right. Do you know what I mean? So I can't be like. Yeah, because you didn't go to those other parties. Yeah, yeah I didn't know there's after after parties. You didn't go yes. to that hotel that night. I didn't go to that goddamn that's hotel. The, that's, that's the part. Right. Right. I put that that's for, the part. I put that for <laughs> yeah, I put that for love. So, <laughs> so, so, like, have you seen him since that happened? No, nah, we. Have you so, talked so, to him so, since so that happened? I saw, I did. Okay, so I did see some things one time. And. I did not, I escaped. Well, it's not, a, I, that sounds dramatic, but I, yeah. but I was, you know, I thought, you know, I'm an arts kid, so let me give some content, context. You know, growing up in art school, you know, in high school, it was the first time I saw like men, like boys, like they were like, we was in junior year, 
like going going together, like holding hands in school and kissing and stuff. I was like, but I you, I didn't want to judge them. They were talented, you know what I mean. And so there was this understanding and um, what is it called? You know, just non judgment yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah. So I was always been you know non judgment about people's sexuality, but you know people that you've seen that you would not assume, you know, doing compromising things. Right. Um, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Booed up. Uh, you know, I'm gonna. Well, you know, you my brother. I ain't gonna boo up with you, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You my brother. Because in public, yeah, you don't do this. We ain't never gonna be sitting too close on the couch. No, 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 no. no. Wait, if me and you just want to go catch a, a Marvel movie, nigga, we gotta have a seat in the middle. Oh yeah, for sure. You know for sure. We ain't in the same popcorn, man. No popcorn with you. We're not sharing popcorn. We're not sharing popcorn. We gonna have to have a seat. Okay. Give me some spice, okay? So, so I'm seeing some things, and I was like, man. And you know, so I used to drink a lot, mm-hmm. like a lot. Like I would drink, I could drink a bottle of tequila by myself. And uh, I had got invited to this meeting, but I hadn't drank all day. And so this is now, it's night, it's like 11, 30, 12. There was only about 14, 15 people in there, but some people. And they was like, Columbus, what did you drink at Columbus? I'm like, I only drink one thing, tequila. And they were like, oh, get him, get him. Oh, we got the smoothest, mm. smoothest, smoothest tequila. So I was like, all right, let me get a shot. So I'm over here, like we chopping it up. I take my shot, I'm like, so we chopping it up five minutes go by seven minutes go by something wrong uh-uh something wrong something wrong whoa something was in your drink something wrong because I'm, I'm getting dizzy i'm like i'm trying on I'm one trying to shot stay on one shot so i'm like i'm trying to stay focused you know but i'm hearing but it's boom i'm like uh, i was like i start getting a little sweaty i was like oh something wrong i gotta find where's i was like but i played it cool you know where's the I mean? restroom where's the bathroom yeah. So I'm like, they like down this hall, and it's like a big ass house in Atlanta. So I'm like, walking down the hallway, look like the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to the bathroom and I put my finger down my throat. And I, Rah! Cat back in. Rah! Yeah, because you knew. And my, 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 my manager was with me, so he kicked it in the door. Boom, short you all right? I was like, bro, I don't know, bro. I was like, son. He's like, the driver's still outside. Let's go. So we go out and they all met us in like the vestibule and they're like, hey, you good, short? And I was like, chill, just relax. I'm like, nah, I gotta, I just like, nah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I gotta be at set early in the morning. Boom, get in the SUV. Just get out of here. <laughs> Damn! Right? So, uh, who was, now who now, was that, at this now, party? Now, that was the night that being an alcoholic saved my life and my booty hole. Cause you knew how to get, <laughs> get on out of there. Damn it, boy! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you... who was there? I don't want to name the name. Okay, I sure was gonna ask. You, like, you who the just, hell was I'm there? Like, you could just was a lot of people there though. I'm like 14, 15. That's what oh. was weird. So it was. It felt like. Have you ever seen that movie, um, Rosemary's Baby? No. Where it's like they're like all talking. Like it's a. They're having a dinner party, but everybody's like talking, and you know, and you're talking, but everybody's but like talking, but everybody's you. looking at you. That's where it felt. That's where it felt. You're the meat of the night. I was like, I was like, oh, they they was about to put me on the grill. Uh They was gonna handle you. Oh, they was. And I saw. I called. Asked my boy. (laughs) I said, because after all this stuff about Diddy came out, been coming out recently, I called my boy. I said, man, now it all making sense. I said, what was they gonna do? What was what what was gonna happen if I, you know, if I had stayed over there and I was drunk? He said, hey, man, you was gonna be caught on tape with a triple glizzy. I said, what's a triple glizzy? I'll let you guys decide what the triple glizzy is. <laughs> All right, man. And I'm like, man. And that would have been black men. Then, and went, then I would have been under the toe. You know what I mean? And then you're looking at you're looking at uh, 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 Bishop. Oh man! Get, get ready! Get ready! Get what? ready! <laughs> get ready! Get ready! Get ready! Get ready. <laughs> what the Do hell, you man? That? Yo, hey, your boy Brandon T. Jackson said. They had the power bottom spirit on my show. He was like, I can't help it if somebody got the power bottom spirit. Like, it could be bad. I'm like. He's talking about just pray for them. Pray for them. But do you I'm believe that? Because not everything you 100% hear. 100% true. 100% true. 100% true. You know what I mean? And people that like, keep your mouth off the bishop. Man, the bishop should have kept his mouth off some things. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Like, what, how do you, how do you. How but do you how come can you up say it's 100% yeah. true? The okay. only way if I say bishop, that is if you can what, see, what are, if you what, saw something. All right, if if you guys, boss, talk, hey, I heard boss talk, they they got a heist ring on the low. They be, they, they, they go from city to city heisting. They, they rob banks, they rob You have to see me to, to say they, that. They, they, you I, can't I heard, just say I heard that. boss talk, but then they're like, oh, but Columbus, you always on boss talk, though. 
But do you know what do, what do you know about this ring? You've every been time they come to town, and, you and, will. And, they, and, there's a, and every time they in town, somebody get robbed. But you might not have known. <laughs> every time Diddy in town, somebody booty hole getting blasted out. Damn! Oh, wait a minute. I mean, sheesh. And, and I got called. What the hell? I didn't even know what a power bottom was. <laughs> so, I, so I had to flip through my, my phone. I was like, who the gay dictionary? And I just called my homeboy. I, huh? I said, what is a power bottle? They I said, he oh, made Columbus. It. They said, oh, Columbus. You don't know what a power bottom is? I thought he they made said, that it's a, up. Who? I thought Brandon just made that no, up. No, it's, it's a thing. thing. It's a real thing. And they were like, oh, yeah, it's been around for years. A power bottom is a larger, uh, technically hairy man, could be of any ethnicity, that um, gets his back blown out. Uh uh-uh. uh, I did not power, know power, that. A powerful, bigger man. That. Power, yeah, powerful power body. Yeah, power, power, power. He, power he, bottom. He described trying to describe somebody. <laughs> <laughs> a bigger man. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Did you see the Cat William man? Did you see that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, did you watch the whole, the whole entire thing? It was thing. a lot. The whole entire thing. Did you? What did you think? What about did you it? think? I mean. Cat's just, he's had it. I felt like he just was like, you know, forget this. I'm telling everything. <laughs> everything, everything. <laughs> and if you don't like it, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you take another drink. <laughs> <laughs> so when you sit down for two hours, you watch. I watched, I watched the entire 245. Did you feel like anything he said was incorrect? He said he, he promoted the fact that if he do another movie with Ricky Smiley, he had to wear a dress, and I just don't believe that. How could you calculate he said, that? He said he put it in the contract. That's what I'm saying. How could you think that far ahead? Because Cat is diabolical. He's the Virgo. He's like, he thinks diabolically, and he's a genius. Oh, uh, damn. So but you, you know believe they, that? Yeah, I mean, he, you know, there's a code amongst comics, yeah. you know, that... Uh, but I think it's time to, you know, we're, what's happening in the entertainment industry as a whole is what's happening in politics. We're draining the swamp. So it's sad that so many talented artists, more that I've ever spoke up. There, there's more quiet than there are talking. Just oh. know that. Um, and they, to have to have these gifts and to, you know, meet your people that you've looked up to or mm-hmm. like, oh, that are saying they are, you know, we can start with R. Kelly. You know, that, that's a that's a that's a predator's device. Oh, I'm gonna give you a shot. Right. You know, I'm gonna groom you. I'm gonna take you under my wing. Right. Um, then to be put into compromising situations and then become successful, it's almost like, did you sell your soul? I never sold my soul, so the yeah. road was a little bit harder. And mm-hmm. there's some people that made compromises for their dream um, to be successful. That was, is is now that cloud over their careers, but you over their Kevin hearts. Was a plant. I don't know about all that. Yeah, I don't know about all that. It was a lot. Yeah, he was going, it was a lot. So, so, you know, for every, you got to eat the meat and spit out the bones. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? Because some people are working hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Kevin, they, Kevin's a grinder. So, you know if they work a grinder. It. Carter, but, but see, Kevin in movies um, was different. I wasn't on the circuit with Kevin in, the com- in comedy. So, when I started comedy, you know, my class was like Little Damon, Damon Jr., uh, Vincent Oshana, uh, my man from uh, Hangover, Asian guy. You know, he, we was yeah, that, we, yeah, those yeah, are the yeah, guys that were kind of outside every in these little you know doing these shows um, locally. Um, so, but Cat and them, they were a different generation. They were like you know they was coming up through with the Guy Tories and the Joe Tories. Correct, and, correct. You know all of that, the Moniques, and Monique, Faison, all of them. Faison, they were all the together. Yeah, Hughley, all of those. Yeah, JC, sessions, JB Smooth, JB Smooth, mm-hmm. Earthquake. Yeah, all of them cats. Michael Corrier, you know what I mean Chris Tucker. You know those guys. The Wayans, well, the Wayans weren't really on stage. They was on doing TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so Cat's got a different perspective on on heart than. Uh, than I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cat. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, but but Cat, like, he's very, he's technical, he's precise. He's genius. He's a damn beast, though, he's when it comes to, and I always say that. It's a lot of them. I mean, don't get me wrong, and Faison, I know you, he be watching me. That's my boy. And he's like, you think that? I just feel like. Faison's a beast. He yeah. a beast. Like Faison's I said, Faison sent me some old footage last night. I was like, whoa. I just watched a movie with Faison. Boy, Faison like, crazy with he it. He crazy, bro. But I love Did him, Did you see though. that movie on the strip? Yeah, 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 I seen it. I he think crazy. Right now. <laughs> him, him and Wesley Snipes. They was fooling, uh, what else? It was uh, Bill Tiffany, Bellamy. Tiffany. Tiffany Haddish. Kevin Hart was in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, man, 
Y'all all dope, bro. Everybody can be dope. Black people are talented, bro. A lot of them. Well, what's happening, too, is, man, it's kind of sad. I just saw uh, the next one. Because, by the way, that cat interview blew Shannon's shit up. It blew it great. It's the second most viewed interview Ever. on oh uh, yeah on the, on YouTube right now. Fifty some million. He yeah. about to catch Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan's got the number one interview. Yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, but his is right there, and it happened like that. Like Joe that. Rogan's been on there for years. Yeah, it was yeah. about a uh, the earth, it was about aliens. Some dude yeah, said yeah, he yeah, seen yeah. aliens. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. seen it? Yeah, yeah. But now you know, I just saw yesterday he did a uh, Monique. Monique. That one going crazy too. That one going crazy, and Monique was classy. You know what I mean? Did but you like it? I, I haven't seen it. I only saw one part where I've she seen talked a little about bit of Tiffany. It too. She was just talking about. I didn't Tiffany. see that part. What, what well, did she apparently say? Apparently, Tiffany said something about her husband, and Monique was saying, saying, "Well, you know, well, because if maybe if you had a husband." You wouldn't have two DUIs. Maybe if you had a oh, husband, damn. you wouldn't be in all this stuff. I didn't see that Maybe. boy. And so, you know, when we start having open, I, I, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I say, and I'm going to stand by what I say. Uh, you know, I ain't scared of no Diddy, but he's a dirty dog. Damn. You know what I mean? He a dirty Diddy, dog. Diddy, Diddy, he a dirty Diddy, dog. Did he do gonna that? Get he treated Cassie he gonna, like that he for gonna, real? He's going to get everything that he got coming Do you believe in Cassie's situation? I believe everything that's been alleged. Wow. Uh, do you feel more people are going to come out? When he locked up? Because people scared of him. I ain't scared of Diddy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If you you think he'll get locked up? He, he, he on his way, man. He's, you can't run from this forever. I don't care how much money you got. Because people feel like because of the money that he's not going to get. Yeah, I mean, I don't care how high up you at. Are you at? Is, is, is the Keefe D thing anyway? Organized toward this. Think about Keefe D comes out and says that P Diddy and all this. It's a bunch going on with P Diddy at this whole. It's like a that all was true. I mean, I knew that. that I knew that. I knew that when I was a kid because I grew up in these streets. Right. So I knew that story. We've been on that story. That's not. That was not no new news for anybody from the West Coast or anybody that grew up out here in South. About the Tupac and yeah, anybody that you know came up in you know in the streets who were real gang members. Knowing and you are living in hoods with grill gang members, you heard the chatter, you know what I mean, coming up right after Tupac died. It shook up our whole city. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, everybody was talking. And then these niggas came back from Vegas talking. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of the cops was talking, you know, flexing. You know what I'm saying? It was, that, you know what I mean? The gang banging, especially back then, it's, you know, it still go hard. But back then, niggas was, nigga, that was stripe. Um, but but it, it, was, it was unfortunate. There's no conspiracy about Tupac. You know, I think people want to, he's alive. And this and that. Tupac was, they weren't going to kill Tupac. Did, 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 did he make that offer to Keefe D? I believe he did. I don't know. No. I believe he did. Did Keefe take that offer? No, they did not. You know what I mean? Did not. But once there's some stuff went down in Vegas, had Tupac just not participated in that incident? Mm-hmm. He would have still been here. That was some real gang, uh, some gang related right. shit. That was different from Biggie. Now well, you gotta ask. Was you here when now, Biggie got yeah. killed? Here? Now you gotta ask. Did Puff have something to do with Biggie? Biggie. Did I mean? It's crazy, man. That all this stuff spiraling. All, like you said, the, they talk the, about sacrifice. It's coming, it's coming back. The you know, it, it's coming back full for anything you do. Uh, you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So if we plant bad seeds, we'll get bad harvest. Yeah. It's coming out eventually. So how, you you went through a lot in your career. Mm -hmm. A lot of people watched you. A lot of people say you you know during you went through a bad horrible thing. Marriage on all every it was all across the Everything board. Everything was connected though. And catch this. Why did I go through all of that stuff? You went through a lot because you because denied. I never gave in. I never gave in. Because the same thing people so always there, there say. I get, I get where you're going. I get where that he's going. Because the same thing they said about Jamie, that all of a sudden when he got sick and stuff like that, it said something happened, reason why all of a sudden all this bad stuff started happening right, to Right, right. And, it, you know, my wife was a part of that. You know, she was in the business on a higher level than I was just in my ex-wife, not my right, wife. Right, right, right. Um, so she, she knew the dark side of the game. I was still green. I was still green. And once I was didn't conform to the dark side of the game, mm -hmm. oh, they was going to take me out. If we can't kill them, well, nobody wanted to fight me for real. No, and they knew, you know, nobody wanted to pull up. I was with the functions. Yeah, yeah. Um, still am. But I ain't going to fight nobody, but I'm still with the functions. I'm going to protect <laughs> me and mine. That's right. At all times. So um, I got a question, because when this, you know, the bad events started happening after that, is there any calls to say, man, if you had just da-da-da-da, you know? No, everybody turned their back. 
You know what I mean? Like, we got him. We killed him. If you can't kill the man, you got to kill his name. Exactly. Um, and there was no, you know, it was a hard battle to fight misnomers. And I wasn't doing myself any favors because I was, I was hurt. I was going through a dark time personally from that. You How know did I mean? they, I mean, when you look at it, everybody talk, it was talking down. Everybody, yeah. your attitude, your, the way your, your habits were, whatever was, you said alcohol, alcohol, alcohol yeah, yeah. everything they could think of possibly. How did you, how did, how are you still standing today? Right. By the grace of God, one. Man, that's beautiful. But, I, but also, the, the ones, the people that I had no respect for had the unmitigated gall to speak on anything in my life, how dare they? And they're going to get their judgment, not by me, but by God, um, period, point blank. And because that was strategic and karma is real, um, and don't speak on God's child because watch what happens. Um, and everything negative that was spoken is everything that has breathed life into me, to be honest with you. Um, not to prove anything to anyone but to myself, to my family, and to God that, you know, no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Man. That's it. That's it? How, wow. How, okay, when you, after you guys did that movie, Stump the Yard, did, did you and Chris Brown, y'all ever talk again? Did oh, yeah, we was tight. Mm -hmm. Me and Chris was tight. And okay. I love him to this day. Shout out, Chris. Chris Brown. Because um, this Christmas know, came after Stump the Yard, didn't Yeah, it? we did yeah. this Stump yeah. first, then this, this, then this yeah. Christmas. And we kicked it all the time. I mean, we was... It's my brother to this day. Mm -hmm. It's just the people he is in his life aren't the people I can be around. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm. And that's, that's, you know, I'm no judgment to Chris. One of the most talented individuals. Man, he cold. In you cold. cold. Blooded, yeah. And, and it's like, you know, we're going to have our reunion soon. But, you yeah. know, it's, it's uh, people make decisions in their life. And, you know, sometimes those decisions separate Good, good fam, good, good relationship. That's good that you're aware of that and know that you know what. As much as I love you, I gotta step back because this is just not a good environment for me. Yeah, and 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 you know, as he continues to grow as a man and evolve as an artist and evolve as a father, um, you know, the everything gonna come back around. Wow, this Christmas that. when you because I never really asked you about this movie. Like when you guys were doing this Christmas, it was such. A, I watch it every year too. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. Five times, ten times. Yeah. He's telling me this is the only Christmas movie I, I want to watch. I watch my boy Columbus. Really more now. Like, nigga, turn it on. That's what I'm watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so. They need something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah but y'all got, got the got, number one. Well, we period. Got, yeah, we got another one coming. We got something else coming up the pipe. Awesome. Wow. But how, like, how was it working with, uh, who else? Everybody. I know your boy was in there. What's his name? Last. Idris. 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 All of them. Like, oh, how, I mean, how I, was it? To this man? day. That was a, we were a family, you yeah. know. Uh, I call Loretta anytime I see a ma, you know, Delroy Lindo, that's, you know, Pops. Um, the entire cast, Lazar Alonzo, Keith, Lauren London, mm -hmm. um, uh, Sh Sharon Leal, Regina King. Um, we were, you know, we had a ball. We laughed. They, it was, sometimes it was just hard for us to even get through takes because we was just being so crazy, stupid. What's your favorite part in the whole movie? Uh, favorite part of the whole movie, honestly, was when we danced at the end. It was just fun. Beautiful. Was, I you know, felt that. Yeah, I we, just, that. we had a ball. That was real, real, real. The day, we was we was last day of production, and we thought we was going home. They said, no, 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 we're going to turn on some music. We just turn on the cameras, and y'all just do a Soul Train line. And we was mm -hmm. like, oh, so we was ourselves, and we just had fun. Uh, that was that was, but the whole movie was great. But it Guess started what? off like that, and it ended like that. It was yeah. the same. It was the same dance, and I know it was because well, yeah, you yeah. could tell the energy was the same. Yeah, we great. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we had a ball doing that. My favorite part. Guess what? Guess what part is my favorite what? part? The part with Regina King. I knew you were going to say that. Ah! Yeah, oh, I cracked up on that. That's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, she got him. Oh yeah, that's class. That's that that's cinema favorite. history there. That yeah. was beautiful, yeah, yeah. man. So now, okay, when you look at all these Tubi, I, when I asked, you know, I asked Faison, he mm -hmm. said, "Cause I am on the Tubi." Like Tubi is 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 Fox owns Tubi, right now, and it's growing. I know Brandon's scandals on Tubi now. Tubi mm. just now. It is. Wow. They just picked so it up. So what do you think week. about Tubi? I was just asking you how well, far I, the I opportunity didn't, to provide. I didn't think about Tubi. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I would do some movies, no offense to some people out there, you know, just to keep some change, keep the lights on. Yeah, yeah. That I would think was not going to see the light of day, but Tubi. Picks it up. Picks it, picks them up. Yeah. You know, you're like, damn, that movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know, I didn't even know that was doing it. I've seen a couple of them with you and I love them. But no, then, but they pick it up because to me, you're a certain caliber of actor no matter what movie it is. So for them to have that on their platform amen. coming up, yeah. it makes it the platform so then, look a so, certain so way. So then they, they, they reach out to me um, and they said, hey, uh, we got, would Columbus be interested in ABC or Scandal? We reached out to my wife. 
what Columbus be interested in promoting that scandals on Tubi. I said, it's got like what, an episode? No, the whole series. I said, okay, I said, let me pray about this. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I posted it and uh, it's a good thing, you know, because now it's reintroducing the series to those right. that didn't catch that it. Didn't That's catch right. It. Um, and, you know, meeting the people where they are, it did, a, it did wonderful for me, uh, did wonderful for Carrie, it did wonderful for our culture to see, uh, you know, African Americans are number one and number two on the call sheet on a network television series, but right. with high level content, political drama, you know, high level content, not just, you know, uh, television fodder. Um, so I'm excited for it to be on 2 and I'm excited for the residual checks. Run me that. Hey, <laughs> run it back. Run me that. I gotta ask hold you on, about, hold on. Okay. I know y'all were talking about a Cat Williams with. Um, we going Chad, back to that. But no, did you get to see Monique? Yeah, uh, we just talked about, about that. it. Oh, I'm about to off. bring that back up though, because okay. Monique said something about on, uh, what's that? Moish, the one that she did. What's the her show? Oh, the um, Parkers. Parkers. The Parkers. She said, and I thought it was good. She said she, she, she only made, made fifty five thousand. I'm like, damn, episode. episode. I'm like, and that's she not was bad. like. She but was then, ma mad about it. I, ain't that, is that no, good? So well, I'm asking know, you, is that then. bad? That was bad because, it is? because schedule, well, at that time, not schedule F. Schedule F, when I was doing Scandal, I think I was making $75,000 a week. But so, that's a way so, after. So, yeah, so, Parkers. but $75,000 a week is scheduled left. That's the lowest they can pay you as a lead. Oh, oh um, see, I didn't so, know. So, as a lead, that's the lowest oh, okay. you can get paid for the first three seasons. I'm not sure how many seasons the Parkers so did. They did a week. bunch. They did a so lot. After the third season, you can renegotiate based on the the success of the show. That's where people go from seventy-five thousand oh, wow. dollars a week to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a week. And you gotta help me you on know this, what I'm saying? bro. So, so what? Whatever happened after the third season? They, I mean, if they kept her at that number, that's ridiculous. But you gotta yeah. help me on this because I I know people. When you sign these contracts, when you deal with these deals. Is it something you can't negotiate? Non negotiable over here. $75,000 will you renegotiate? It's just like the NBA. First three, you sign in for three seasons. Correct. Boom, on your, on your rookie contract. Uh, when the third season is, that was another thing that was happening too. When on the scandal, my third season, that next fourth season, I was about to be on some friends' cash, like friends looking, <laughs> yeah. like, looking like Matthew Perry out here. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? I was about to be looking like Charlie Sheen out here, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> minus the tiger's blood. Okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so I was about to be making some heavy money. Right. Um, and I think that scared some people. But nonetheless, whatever, that was wrong. For, and they've, they've wildly mistreated Monique. I hate it. I hate how they treated her. Mm -hmm. She's so talented. And because she tells the truth, they scared. They, they, what do they hate? Boisterous it, it, black right. people. Yeah, not just not male. Just not just male. Don't, shut your mouth. What they tell uh, LeBron? Shut up and shoot. Shoot. Play dribble. Mm -hmm. Shut up and dribble. Mm -hmm. Shut up and dribble. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me? So, you know what I mean? Uh, I think now, it's the cat said this right 2024 is the year of the truth. Wow. Um, tell the truth. I mean, you know, I'm not scared of nothing. You can't kill me twice. Um, and you know, it, it allows, I was just in this model my whole life though, like every so often reinvent yourself, um, stay to your core values, right. the truths of who you are, integrity, morality, um, you know, loyalty, um, dignity, class, discipline. Um, but then and reinvent yourself. That's real. You know, uh, reinvent yourself. You, you don't have to be stuck in one thing your whole life. And educate um, yourself. And uh, stay educated. Have to. Could be a consummate student. Kobe taught me that. Um, you know, we're never too old to study. We have to be learning every day. In this generation, do you see more and more people talking about talking out? Even with Taraji, Taraji spoke out about it. Yeah, as because well. they're feeling safer. But there, some people are. There's there's two sides of this. There's people just cloud chasing, right? Mm -hmm. That just want to say something just to, you know, Cassidy got that thirty million, hundred million. Now everybody telling those story, girl. That happened in 1972. You just now you talking about what da Big Daddy Kane did to you in a, <laughs> in, a in and out drive through in Los Angeles, 1978. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like we we come on, ma'am. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but there's we, no but, statute on yeah, certain but, things. But I mean, you know, there's uh, you got in a fight with Method Man in a hotel room, yeah. you know, back in yeah. 1991. Yeah. I mean, come on. But the stuff that is relevant is you got to. We don't know what kind of recovery that happened, you know, mm -hmm. uh, mental, mental. Uh, PTSD and scars and damages that by speaking about it, by being able to come out and say, this happened to me. And now not having this thing that's, you know, proverbially this dark cloud that's over your, your life, 
um, affecting your interpersonal relationships with your spouse or interpersonal relationships with a significant other or your kids or your family members because of some damages that's been happening to you. You know, sometimes the only freedom is to speak. Wow. But bullying come apart too because then yes, you you have that freedom now with your family, but then if you're a person that look on social media and read these comments and stuff like that, then that's where you got to be thick skin. Be thick if you're gonna come out here, be prepared to yeah. get some, some clap back, some fire, some some, some 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 shots back. You better have on a Teflon vest, right? So you know, I, that's why I don't read. Sometimes I read the comments, sometimes I don't want. Yeah, because you respond. Well, yo, I, I come, I clap, I clap back. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it can, it can I clap back. I clap back at any given moment. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling froggy, I might leap out there. You know, yeah. uh, but you know, like uh, Katie, a clap back. But um, somebody told me a long time ago uh, when you know, dead, or like a movie review was coming out, or when you know movies were coming out, and I'd be so nervous opening weekend, like, what's this movie gonna do, and like, what the reviews are, what's what's Ebert, yeah. what's Ebert gonna see? We say, right. you know, what I mean, uh, what's the back when Cisco was a little, I'm like, what's Cisco and Ebert gonna say? Uh, and they say if you're gonna read the positive ones you got to read the bad ones too or not don't read them at all so people got comments you know with comments people i I advise everybody whether you're famous whether you're not um be easy on the comments and people be easy on people that are in the public eye that post um be easy on what you say in the Mm -hmm. comments because a lot of people out here wouldn't be wouldn't be able to stand out here for two seconds uh, uh, without being broke down to their first molecule. No, that's so true, man. You, like I said, when I when I think about you, man, the way you snap in the character, man, you are ble- you. Not only are you blessed, but you're so talented, bro. Thank you, man. Like, I appreciate like, that. To even see you on Tubi, to be honest with you, it pushed that pushes that platform up because right. your acting ability is so real, bro. And I don't care. That's bro, a, that's you a, a beast, point. man. That's a good point. I told, uh, you know, no, whether I'm on Tubi, whether I'm on... No matter where you're at. I have to do... Once they say action, I have to do my job. You a beast, bro. I have to I'm do my job. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. I just, I, if it wasn't, I'd be real with you. <laughs> yeah. You really bring it. Like, yeah, you may... It. You, you, man, you so... Uh, is he underrated? Yeah. Very much so. Yes. Well, I, I, whether rate underrated, at least, at least maybe I'm rated, could be rated. Uh, I'm they gonna can't continue, rate you, man. I'm going to continue to do good work. You kill um, And, you know, that's the blessing of it all. You know, growing up in this business, I am a, I am a master of my craft yeah. in filmmaking, television. Um, and so now it's like I'm making it. I'm not, I'm not calling nobody, you know, waiting on, sitting at my, in my house waiting for somebody to call me my phone or send me a script. Um, I've been due diligence. My due diligence has been on point. I mean, I've been writing. I've been, I have a full slate of film, television, um, partnering with strategic, strategic partnering with finance, financiers and big money backers that I'm making my own movies and putting other talent, putting other talented artists um, in position to be successful and giving them shots because, you know, um, damn the gatekeepers that they don't have enough talent in their pinky to dance with us, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a new day and we're going to keep grinding. That one last time, you, have you spoken with uh, Megan Good or any, any of those? Oh, not since she's been in the land of Jonathan Majors. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a different land, man. That was crazy because a lot of people say, Dang, they talk about him in a way yeah. to where they say he only came back over here because, you know, he got into it with the girl. With the, you know what I mean? Went through a situation. I mean, if you get woe out by a white girl, what else you going to do? You going back home. You told me not to be messing with these people. You told me to leave them alone. Were you surprised to see Megan with him? No. You wasn't? Really? Jonathan's a wonderful actor. Um, and, you know, and he's an incredible artist, an incredible mind. She's fascinated with minds. It's my sis, man, and she's a wonderful soul. And I thought that was a good look. I didn't know everything Jonathan was going through, you know. Uh, and for her to be rocking by his side, she's a G for that. Yeah, she did. Um, she's a G for that, and that's not for a look. Megan wouldn't do it for a look. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel for Jonathan because um, you could see in the video, the man clearly, yeah, she got his phone. Mm-hmm. He, he he struggled, had a struggle, get his got his phone, and got the hell on. That nigga was running like dark winged duck. <laughs> nigga, he was. Yeah, he was out, man. I ain't never seen a nigga run that fast in some <laughs> in some All Saints boots and a, and a three quarter length, <laughs> in some skinny jeans. Yeah, he was a, was like running a four four out there. No, it's <laughs> not me, man. He hit that corner, pew, gone. <laughs> like that was on that video. Oh, <laughs> Y'all crazy. Say, so. 
<laughs> Let me ask you this. The, the, it's a dilemma. They said if you don't put the dress on, you, you, you won't get the money. As okay. a man. All right. Break down the dress scenario All right. in this world. All right. All right. Man, I had an opinion about this. And Marlon Wayans really made me look at it different. Mm. So there is a, there's two sides to it. Like, I think there's, I, did, I would never, I, I've modeled my career after some great leading men. Have somebody brought a dress in? No. Um, no. And you would um, never? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, why? It's not your thing. It's not me. That's not my, that's not my, that's not my artistic choices. That's not, that's not, you know, just like, I'm, I have no problem, you know, uh, you know, with anyone's sexuality, but I just do, I mean, I wouldn't play a gay man. Um, Cause I'm, don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't. Right. I wouldn't be able to like you we'll know to, to play a game, to play a gay man. Look at this. To play a gay man. Now, just because they say action, the, I always find reality in what I do. So I kiss a man on screen. I'm gonna go home tonight, being like, damn, I just kissed this nigga. Like now, I'm like, I'm gonna be questioning everything about me. Did I, I mean, I don't want to have those questions. I got too many other questions going on. I'm like, man, I'm fucked around and kissed this man. What if you liked it? Exactly. Dude, fuck your whole shit up. <laughs> he calls you at night and like, yeah, hey, man, man. He didn't really want that. That was a great scene. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You too, know, much it's too much info. Man, I can't. Okay, so, so those are things that, you know, I mean, you know, that's just not me. But, but the dress thing, Marlon made a great point. Marlon said, you know, nobody said nothing when Robin Williams played Mrs. Datfire exactly. and he yeah. murdered that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Tootsie yeah. with, with, yeah. with uh, 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 my man. So, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. I just know for me personally, that's just my thing. Uh, but Marlon, it was genius. They were genius as white girls. But that was their choice. Hollywood didn't tell them to do that. That's them being funny. And that's where that that's their range of comedic um, expression. They, they'll go all the way. They don't care. Um, I just don't feel. I don't feel like I need to put on no dress. I don't have to. I, I, I'm a. I'm a man. I'm a leading man. For sure. And, um, and I want to play multiple strong leading men. Um, and and there's the other part of that. I feel like there is a silent agenda to demasculate mm -hmm. demasculate demasculate the African American male. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And and the more I see it, the more I, I kind of want to hold my ground. The day you see Denzel in dress, calling me back on Boss Talk. Wow. Ain't happening. That's never gonna happen. It ain't or happening. even Samuel L. Jackson. The day you see Samuel L. in the dress, put me back happen. on Boss Talk. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So how did you like? Drake had a, uh, his album last one. I know you listen to music a lot. Yeah. You're a musician. Yeah. How did you like Drake's uh, last project? It was cool. It's cool. <laughs> I'm wait. I'm waiting for Usher to drop. Usher's gonna drop yeah, too. I, I heard. I've heard a few that y'all ain't heard. His mm. stuff. It'll be crazy. Mm. Man, this music. How, how do you feel? Music. The music industry is doing right now. It's kind of man. The Grammys, Let's be real. The Grammys was kind of. You see, they, they arrested Killer Mike. Killer Mike. You know they arrested. What was that about? They After Killer he Mike. got his well, awards, you know, you know what Killer the hell Mike. What was that about? Because Killer Mike is hot on that mic, and when he would, he could have said anything about Biden, he could have affected the culture. They don't want him up there. He, he, he don't have him on that mic. Whatever. Because Arrest that nigga. That, that, for Get him. Yeah. Get the nigga yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Put him. Put, lock him up. Um, but I think the music like R and B, rap, um, the, 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 the Killer Mike had a con con uh, album with content. It killed. It, it was it was murderous. good, man. Oh, that was, man, that whole was solid. It was yeah, hitting. Some, I, so he was hitting ooh, everything. He was hitting cylinders. He yeah. always do yeah. that. So this I, ain't so, his first time no, doing no. that, bro. So that's why you know I've been working diligently. My album is dropping in April. It's finally oh, done. Wow. And, Bringing real music back, yeah. Um, uh, music science. Can't that's wait why, to hear it. Yeah, I'm excited for it. You know, y'all gonna get an exclusive. That's the exclusive. You gonna come and let me just, you know, we're gonna, vibe. We're gonna vibe. We're gonna to talk it. through the album. I know that's what I, I, I want to do. It's gonna have a lot of instruments in it. It's going to. It's going. We ain't to. gonna play with it. No, it's, we ain't played with it. We. It's taking me a long, time. a long time. I have over like 500 records recorded, cut. Um, How many we, songs are you giving us? Um, I'm, I'm going to do a hot eight, but the interludes, it's going to be a, a, a musical journey, a story. It's called Headlines. So okay. it's taking you from everything from the fall from scandal to where we are now and just uh, through through song and interlude stories. But it's going to be a, a piece of music science. And wow. that's what the Academy judges you on. You know, so, I, 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 I'm, I'm upset with the music because, you know, I'm a four, five minute 
you know, song type nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back when Prince was having back when Prince was I'm a having four that. Five, I like for the four five songs. You hear me? I like yeah. the song to go, listen, man, five. <laughs> I'm in that whole vibe and it was one. Lenny, Lenny, it went yeah. forever. It went forever. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, and I cry. <laughs> I cry. We going for five, six minutes. Five, six minutes. They don't do that no, no, no more. It's no. two minutes. I mean, <laughs> but it was, it's kind of no, no, no shade to scissor. I mean, the number one that, that to be that big of a record about a double homicide. Yeah. Crazy, yeah, yeah. It's like this is the state. I mean, we got to start. So, I'm not wrong for thinking. No, like you're that. not wrong for it. We love music, but then. you know what did our parents say to y'all when you start listening to what you listen to? Oh, they thought we were crazy. Yeah, I took my. I always say I took my mom from uh, Marvin Gaye to Too Short. <laughs> Shit messed up, bro. That's messed up. Right, Too right. Short and Luke. Right, right. I'm gonna throw that D. <laughs> That's what the song said. I got it playing. You're like, what the hell am she I? Like, what she like, doing? said, cut that off in my house. Get out of my house, boy. You better get the hell out of my house. But I'm glad that they bring Afro Beats, bringing in the... the that uh, is good music. That's good music. That's that, good music. That, you saw how the whole uh, vibe like changed vibe, in, the, man. in the Grammys. When that man got up there with that, that like it was just boom. Those voices, that, that's, that's, that's from the motherland. You can't yeah. play with it. You can't play yeah. with no, it. You can't, if, you don't, if you don't move, to, if you don't move to that, you don't got a soul. I, yeah. Them women he is the one. I don't really watch the women. Movie, I don't the women dancing. dancing. That's why he All the women that dancing in Africa now. <laughs> it ain't like it used to be. You know, they used did. to they had their breasts out and everything. It ain't like that no more. They got clothes on, their hair done, and they boop, boop, every beat just I'm loving it. Like this is our people, man. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, have you ever played an African actor? Um, I did, and the movie didn't come out. What? But yeah, because they, they ran out of money. But yeah, I play. I'm, I'm man. I'm, I, I do a dialects. I do accents, man. You could do the African dialect. Oh my God! Oh my, <laughs> you come. You cut. Oh my God! You call me to come to your show, okay? <laughs> you do not know I can do it. Where I come from, okay? I know all kind of women, okay? Women like her. Yeah. Women like her. <laughs> Okay, and you come to me to say if I'm from the motherland. Okay, oh my God, Jenny Zigla. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Say, man, is, is, what is Club Shay Shay doing to our people? It's, it's, it's. Is it, it's, what is, what is, is it, I mean, they said I was starting trouble, you know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Nah. They say I was starting trouble. Nah. They say I was messing up. The comedians was arguing on my channel. But at the end of the day, Club Shay Shay got me beat by a long shot. Nah, but you, but you not. See, Shannon just strike striking to mess. You know, we like mess. We watch love and hip hop. We watch Real Housewives. Shannon got the you drink know? and everything. He yeah, said, "Come yeah. on, I got to take me a drink." Yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But you just keep on bringing on the right guests. You know, I'm always sure. Girl, you my and guy. I got, you know, I, I got care. Some, if I got some tea, I'm whatever the best you chair. doing, I'm. A, we doing. Cheers to that. You know, I'm here. <laughs> you know, I'm here whenever you need me. Baby. Uh, what's the name of your, t your TV series that you said coming out? It's called Mind Your Business. What? That's a hard name. Yeah. I like I that. I was being rude when I, no, I like it. I like it. It's called Mind Your Business. And of course, it's about minding your business. Minding my business. Minding mind my family's business. Yeah. Hey, when is it coming out? June. June. Who, who's your, and I'm about to get you up out of here, but mm -hmm. who is your, um, when you think about it, like your top comedian, because you, you, you love comedians, top three comedians of all time. Top three all time. Top Dead three all life. time. Richard Pryor, Dave Chappelle, you love Dave, don't love you? Him. Love him. Love him. You seen him? He had a lot to say about the cat, William. Yeah, yeah, he did. Do you know what? Cat sneaking up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat sneaking. Wow. I mean, he got me. He be having me crying. Cat, I can't. Cat I gotta go. Off, I gotta go off my visceral reaction. If I some comedians I watch and I'm not laughing. You know, I'm, you, but I, you know they're smart. Yeah. You know, there's some good jokes. Maybe they land a few. But Cat be having me crying. Dave be having me weak. Yeah. Because he just tells the story. To, Richard, I watched, because I've been studying Richard lately. I watched live in concert the other day. And Richard was just talking. He wasn't telling jokes. Yeah. He was just telling stories about, you know, him. And his observ uh, observation and lens on life. So my favorite comedians, top five, you know, Dave Chappelle, Richard Pryor, um, Cat Williams, um, uh, Martin. Martin the Beast, um, Jamie Fox, Jamie Fox, that's the one. Those are my guys. Man, do you think he could Eddie be? In a, do you think he got to put Eddie in there? Don't you? Do you think he could be in a movie with Cat Williams? 
Of course. Oh, he could kill it. Could Cat Williams be in a movie with me? There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Like, what about your boy Mike, man? Have you heard from Mike Tyson anymore? You did that, Mike Tyson. Oh, no, I love no, that's no. my favorite clip no, Mike, from you. Mike's just laying, You're- Mike's just laying low right now. He's just like, <laughs> you know, he's just down at the bottom line right now. He's just focused on his camera. Like, <laughs> but he's still fighting. He's still punching. He's still punching. Man. Is there any portrayal of any um, true life story? Because I know you'd love to do research that you feel like you could really like, this needs to be a movie and I need to play that part. Oh yeah, I got them already. Uh, I'm gonna do this, uh, it's a biopic called LSD I wrote. It's about Doc Ellis, he threw a no-hitter on LSD back in 1979 when he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Wow. So that's a story to be told. There's so many to- stories to be told about um, our, our people that, yeah. uh, that ha- are far outside of us being slaves. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are the stories I'm focused on. Wow, thank you so much for coming on the show. How Absolutely. Can people, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link? Uh, you're going to have to pray. No, I'm playing. Uh, no, you can, you, no, you can hit me on uh, social at official C short on IG. Um, that's, that's, that's about it. Um, that's or, it. you know, find me, you know, I, I kind of try to stay under the radar and let, you know, my life, my kids, my wife, my family be protected from outside of the limelight and let my work speak for itself. That's I forgot cool. to say, Eddie Griffin is good. Too. Oh, he great. He's from my hometown. Griffin, Casey's finest. Eddie Griffin and Faison Love. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta say, I, I mean, can't they're, 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 they're old school. That's that's the squad. There's a whole team. Of the Jack Guy, Tory, Joe, Cor- Tory. Tory you know, like, all of those aforementioned people. You know what I mean? They alpha. Hey, so guys. We gotta shut look, it down. Look, 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 look oh, alive. Oh, my boy! Look, look alive. Thank you 2024, so much. we coming in hot. 2024! We coming in we hot. We coming in hot. Coming in hot. Check it, man. Thank you so much for coming I on the show. appreciate you. We man. love you, bro. We love you too, man. It's been another great segment. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you watch all of the clips. Mm-hmm. Columbus Shark Clips is coming out after this full interview is dropped. So, y'all better get down there and check it out. Check oh, it, man. Love Thank y'all. you. I love y'all. Peace. Holla.